What's going on everybody? This is Future Automation and you are listening to Tejas. So we have a sensor here which is ultrasonic sensor and that's what we are going to do today. We are going to learn how to use ultrasonic sensor with Arduino and measure the distance. So with a cup of coffee, let's get started. So guys, before, uh, you know, moving on to using the sensor and measuring the distance, what we'll take a look at is how the sensor is exactly working and what are the pins for it and what is the working principle and all that stuff. So before going to, you know, the pins and all, let's just understand what this sensor is actually. So let's understand what exactly this sensor is. So ultrasonic logic is basically used by submarines and it is inspired by bats. So what bats basically do is they don't, they, they can't see uh, even in the night, obviously in the night when it's too dark, we cannot see either. But the bats they cannot see and what they do is they use the principle of ultrasonic waves and whenever there is an obstacle the waves will get reflected and then they can you know sense the ultrasonic waves and say for example if i'm i'm uh, measuring something or maybe i'm i'm sending ultrasonic wave from here so what it will do is it will send a wave from here to arduino and now since it has it is having an obstacle in between the waves will get reflected and come back so what it will do is it will sense the ultrasonic waves and in that way what it will do is it will calculate the distance of that object so this is used by submarines mostly underwater to detect any kind of ultrasonic sorry any kind of obstacles and you know in the radar system this 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 is basically used now moving on to the technical specification of uh, this particular sensor so this sensor is hchsr 04 uh, which is pretty cheap uh, although it's it's kind of you know i think i i bought it for around uh, 250 something rupees here in india so you can you can go on the amazon link that i have shared below and you can just go and check whether what is the cost and you can just buy it so the theoretical measuring distance of this particular sensor is around from 2 centimeter to 450 centimeter and practically it has been measured around 2 centimeter to 80 centimeter so that's the max that is being you know measured and practically now the accuracy is around 3.3 millimeters so you can take 3 millimeter front or back and a 15 degree of you know measuring angles so a 15 degree of measuring angle is something that it can measure now enough with the data it it works on 5 volts of course it works on 5 volts so that is also pretty cool now moving to the working principle of ultrasonic sensor so what it does is if you if you see at the bottom you can see there is a t and the r uh, which is basically transmitter and receiver so what transmitter does is it emits an ultrasonic wave after a, a you know a fixed amount of interval and the receiver after this transmitting a wave it sends whether we, it is getting a wave back or not now it knows the speed with which with which the ultrasonic wave is tra traveling and then what it does is once it transmits the wave this will start the timer there will be a timer and then what this will do is once it sends the wave it will it will record that time from when the the wave was transmitted and when the wave was sensed. Now the basic formula for distance is speed into time. So what we do is we can calculate the distance. So we have, if you will go a little bit closer, and now you can see that the pin diagram is also coming up on the screen. So if I'll try to zoom it a little bit and see if I can zoom. So you can see here that we have a VCC, we have a VCC here, and then we have a trigger pin, and then we have a, Eco pin and a ground pin. 
So this trigger pin is nothing but the transmitter pin which is triggering the ultrasonic wave and echo pin is something that is uh, you know sensing the uh, ultrasonic wave. So these are the four pins that are uh, on this board and we have to connect according to that. So let's connect the pins to Arduino and let's let's write the code. So I'll connect it and come in a minute. So guys, the pins are already connected. So let me give you a quick idea on what I have done here. So you can see that as you all are aware that VCC pin is connected to 5 volts. So that I have connected to 5 volts here. And let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, it, it's kind of visible. And then at the end, we have the ground pin here. So that is connected to the ground of Arduino here. You can see that. Cool. And then the trigger pin is connected to 9 and echo pin is connected to 10. So that's how you will have to connect if you want to use the code. You can make changes based on your connection again. So let's bring in an object here to see if uh, what we have studied theoretically is correct or not so i'm bringing in my friend here if you can see him he's pretty he's pretty happy that he's sitting on the moon actually so yep yep and i think this is cool so let me just try to yeah so i think this is good and let's go to the code now before burning it i have also bought in a scale to you know verify whether it is right or wrong and whether we are getting accurate distance or not so let's go to the code and see how the code works so here you can see that in code let me just try to get a little bit zoom in so that you can you know get an idea so here what we are doing is we are declaring trigger pin and echo pin for 9 and 10 as that's what we have connected if you make any changes here make sure you are also making the required changes in the connection as well Next to that, what we are doing is we are creating two variables. One is duration and one is distance uh, to make sure that we are storing duration to calculate the distance here. And then what we are doing is we are uh, defining trigger pin as an output and echo pin as an input. Now, if you are new to this video, you might be a little bit confused about these functions and what is input and output so make sure you check out all the previous videos which i have done we are you know trying out some awesome sensors and you can enjoy that so once you get an idea you can come over to this because as we are going ahead we'll start creating complex projects as well so make sure you do that now what we are doing is we'll set the trigger print to low to make sure we are clearing it out and then we'll wait for a microsecond two microseconds and then we'll make the trigger pin high again now what that does is it will emit and ultrasonic wave from the sensor and then we'll wait for 10 microseconds again and we'll make the trigger pin to low now what we do is we'll use a pulsing function where we'll put the echo pin to high and we'll store the duration now you as i told you that once the trigger pin emits the ultrasonic wave we'll start calculating and then once we once we use uh, once we get the ultrasonic wave back we'll you know uh, calculate the duration in microseconds now what we need to do is we have got the duration and we know the logic that is uh, you know the 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 speed in which the wave travels so what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, calculating the distance based on that and when then we'll print out the distance and we'll we delay it for another 500 milliseconds and then we'll follow the same uh, you know same logic uh, same loop so let's connect the uh, code and let's you know let's connect the cable and connect the code burn the code in the arduino so let's do it connect. i'll just zoom out a little bit just to you know okay so that you are visible having a visibility of full uh, setup and then we have connected it so let's burn it and open so the uploading is done so let's open the serial monitor now you can see that it is showing the distance here so let's let's see if it's quite correct so if i'm measuring it from here you can see it's almost kind of correct so if i'm taking it a little bit back so if let me just see if i can show you so on the screen you can see you are getting around 11 to 12 if i'm 
connecting it here then i can get the exact sensor so there is a bit of inaccuracy but i don't think that's too much because you can see here that the the front of the sensor is clearly to the 11 centimeter uh, you know uh, 11 centimeter scale on the scale so it's it's kind of accurate if i'm taking it back the sensor will change its distance it will take a little bit of time to calibrate but i think then again it goes a little bit more so it's around 20 23 cent centimeter of range so yeah guys this is it so where we can use this so there are few things where we can use this is one is uh we can use it in robots where you know you're creating autonomous robots which are not supposed to go and bang in the walls so that is one place where you can do it you can create you know uh, maybe drones where you want to detect any obstacle in between although there are lidar sensors that are being used and we will be using that as well in future but that are Two places then if you want to create a radar kind of system uh, there are awesome videos where people have created radar system so that is something that you can use and that are few applications so where you can use it if you want to create a submarine of course that's one of the major thing where we are using you know ultrasonic waves so that is something where you can use so uh, make sure you try out few things so that you can get an idea on what are the applications of uh, you know uh, ultrasonic sensor and if you are new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like the video make sure you share it with other enthusiasts as well and make sure you try out all the sensors that we have worked with and try to combine them and see if you can make out a project out of it so you can also make a project where if things are getting too close then you know it will start beeping out just like what we have in cars uh, although it is also using proximity sensor which we are we have already used in the previous video which is ir sensor but they also do use ultrasonic sensors as well so both are kind of same it's just that that is directly used for object obstacle detection here we can you know uh, use it for measuring the distance as well so that's it guys for today's video keep innovating take care thank you